Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Bombardier enters new Challenger 3500, also Inspiration4 is scheduled to launch, and U.S. Marine Corps supports humanitarian aid and disaster relief mission in Haiti. Happy Wednesday, thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Bombardier has confirmed the upcoming launch of the Challenger 3500 aircraft. The Challenger 3500 aircraft, the evolution of the Challenger 350 aircraft, introduces a redesigned interior with intelligent and sustainably minded cabin features. Bombardier's Nuage seat is included in the aircraft's standard configuration. The C-3500 will provide a reduced cabin altitude of 4,800 feet at 41,000 feet, representing a 31% improvement over its predecessor. The Challenger 3500 aircraft also includes a voice control cabin to manage lighting, temperature, and entertainment systems, wireless chargers throughout the cabin, and a 24-inch 4K display. In the cockpit, Bombardier introduces a standard-equipped auto-throttle system to the Challenger 3500 flight deck. This new business jet is expected to enter service in the second half of 2022. Following their recent groundwork on making the Global 7500 aircraft the first business jet ever to receive environmental product declaration, the Challenger 3500 aircraft will be the first business jet in the super mid-size segment to have an EPD. Another sustainable initiative is the introduction of the first EcoApp solution in business aviation. The EcoApp is developed by CETA, a leading specialist in air transport communications and information technology, using its existing EWAS pilot with OptiFlight solution. After the break, Alpa demands U.S. government to protect the flight deck. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Airline Pilots Association is calling on federal regulators to address a glaring aviation security vulnerability. Last month, ALPA called on the Transportation Secretary to urge the FAA to issue a final secondary flight deck barrier regulation, which was mandated by Congress nearly three years ago. ALPA is calling Congress to immediately pass legislation that requires primary hardened flight deck doors on old cargo aircraft, in addition to these concerns. Philippines Airlines Files Bankruptcy Philippines Airlines filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy with a lender-supported plan to help the carrier recover after the COVID-19 pandemic. The company will get $505 million in equity and debt financing for its majority shareholder, in addition to $150 million from new investors to contribute to debt financing. The goal is to cut $2 billion in borrowings through a proposed restructuring plan which will need court approval, allowing the carrier to reduce its fleet capacity by 25%. Aviation Partners with Clay Lacey Aviation 
Aviation teams up with establishing FBO services partner to offer aircraft charging at airports, setting the stage for widespread market adoption in 2024. Aviation Aircraft is partnering with Clay Lacey Aviation to provide electric charging as part of its fixed based operator network of services. The partnership is the first FBO agreement for aviation that will allow for the charging of Alice, its all electric aircraft at a Clay Lacey Aviation FBOs in preparation for the plane's expected entry into service in 2024. CH-53K King Stallion logs first successful fleet mission. The first official fleet mission for the Marine Corps' new heavy lift capability took place in the White Mountains of California Sunday, September 5th. The CH-53 53K King Stallion successfully recovered a Navy MH-60S Nighthawk helicopter during the two-day operation. The testing is in the midst of initial operational test and evaluation with Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1 at Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center 29, Palms, California. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now, as we turn to the rest of the news, Inspiration4 is scheduled to launch today. SpaceX is targeting a five-hour launch window opening at 8.02 p.m. The launch of the Inspiration4 mission is the world's first all-civilian human spaceflight to orbit aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft from historic Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Approximately three days after liftoff, Dragon and the Inspiration4 crew will return to Earth and splash down at one of several possible landing sites off of the Florida coast. Inspiration4 is commanded by Jared Isaacman, founder and CEO of Shift4 Payments and an accomplished pilot and adventurer. Joining him are medical officer Haley Arsenault, a physician assistant at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and pediatric cancer survivor, mission specialist Chris Sembrowski, an Air Force veteran and aerospace data engineer, and mission pilot Dr. Cyan Proctor, a geoscientist, entrepreneur, and trained pilot. The Inspiration4 mission is part of Jarrett's ambitious fundraising goal to give hope to all kids with cancer and other life-threatening diseases. Visit St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to learn how you can help the Inspiration4 crew reach their $200 million fundraising goal. During their multi-day journey in orbit, the Inspiration4 crew will conduct scientific research designed to advance human health on Earth and during future long-duration space flights. After these messages, U.S. Marine Corps supports humanitarian aid and disaster relief mission in Haiti. More news after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. U.S. Marine Corps supports humanitarian aid and disaster relief mission in Haiti. Following the recent earthquake in Haiti, U.S. Marines operated the Bell Boeing MV-22 and Jeremy Haiti using it to distribute relief supplies to Haitian citizens in need. 
The V-22 offers unparalleled range navigation through Haiti's ocean area and mountain towns, covering over 860 nautical miles. With unparalleled range and a vertical takeoff and landing ability, the V-22 can seamlessly navigate open ocean and mountainous terrain while traveling more than 860 nautical miles. Two crews took off from Naval Station Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, flew to Port-au-Prince to pick up supplies, and made multiple trips across the mountainous southern peninsula to deliver their loads. They stopped only to refuel on board the USS Arlington off the coast of Haiti. The V-22 has been used many times for special operations as well as disaster relief missions, combat search and rescue, and logistic missions. The aircraft currently operates within the U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, and additionally the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, acquiring more than 600,000 flight hours. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.